Hello everyone, this is Dawn Raider, and welcome to this uh, Better Than Wolves Redstone tutorial. So today we are going to be going over Piston Packers, and I have a few different designs here. This one right here is just a basic Piston Packer. All it does, you put the items in here, and it spits out the blocks down there. Uh, then, the next one over here, I guess both of these are for the same sort of thing. They both are piston packer sorters. So you could put this in a mob farm and it would sort either for a salt mob farm, you could sort uh, glass bottles from rotten flesh. You could also use it to sort bones from arrows. Although they do, you can sort those with bellows. This does automatically pack the bones, which is something you would want to do anyways, because they only stack to 16. Uh, so, to demonstrate how these work real quickly, I have some dirt right here, and if we turn this on, it dispenses the items and fits into here. Now, you probably noticed something a little weird there. Let me turn this off so that you can actually hear me. One quirk with this design, which is why this design does not work as a sorter, is because whenever a block gets packed, it occasionally slips this piston, grabs the shovel, and shoves it in there before coming back. These over here rely on block updates to this block, which would be thrown off by the shovel getting moved. But this one works off of a three tick clock, so you have your uh, repeater on two ticks right here, going to this torch, and that just goes a clock right there. You can adapt this to make this a little cheaper as well, uh, if you change this to a five tick clock, but that's obviously a bit slower. So total cost for this one is five, or, yeah, five repeaters, three sticky pistons, and a dispenser. Everything else is fairly cheap. That comes out to a total gold cost of 38 nuggets. Now, on to the tutorial for this design. So, starting on this design, you are going to want to place a block right there, then, or sorry, block like that, like that, and like that. Then, two tick repeater right there. Unfortunately, there is a bug, by the way, with Better Than Wolves right now. Uh, this is version uh, 4.B002, uh, where repeaters send out a zero tick pulse, so just be aware of that with pistons. Anyways, if you're going to do that, that's going to make the clock shut it off with a lever. You can power either that block, that block, or that block. All of those will depower the clock. Let's set that to sunrise. Then place a torch right there, and oops, I'm going to make two blocks right here. Redstone, repeater, set that one to two ticks as well, and sticky piston facing that way. Then we are going to come right there, two blocks there, one block up there, sticky piston facing downwards with block right there, block right there, and slabs in those three places there. Run redstone all the way up right there. Repeat on two ticks, repeat on one tick. That's that's how I was saying about the uh, having to be careful there. Put a repeater there at four ticks. Then sticky piston facing downwards, piston shovel, hopper, dispenser, and you're done. Then Actually, one more thing. Uh, we need a hopper to collect it. Now, blocks that are required, but it doesn't matter what kind of blocks or anything like that, are all of these block glass blocks. Actually, technically, that one's not required. These are required for uh, packing. This one just helps prevent items that occasionally get dispensed down that way. And uh, then it, it's also useful to put blocks here to catch the output for the hopper, but not strictly necessary. And turn that on, and 
What's wrong? Oh. Is that the one tick? There we go. So, how this works, there's this clock back here that powers the whole thing. Clock is hooked up directly to this piston, and it's hooked up to this falling edge detector. So, this repeater makes the piston extend. Right just before this comes in, that does the packing. Then it pulls up, this repeater is still turned on, which then, through this block, fires a dispenser, also sends a redstone signal around here, that after this is pulled back, this pushes down and retrieves any sort of block that's there. Okay, so, next design is a the piston packer sorter. So, for this one, uh, it works basically in the same way as the other one does, but there is a block update detector right here, which then, whenever a block is formed, you can see it opens up the floor, and that lets out any items that were not packable. So, if we come in here, and just for demonstration, we can take some piles of dirt, and something not packable would be, I don't know, coal. I lied, coal is packable because it has the deco add-on. Let's just grab some saplings, sure, why not? What, did I delete them? I am really sorry about this. Saplings. All right, put those in there and turn it on. As you can see, this one is definitely slower than the other design, but it's randomly dispensing between the two uh, items. But it packed the block, saplings fell down here, the, uh, the dirt block ended up in there. So you'd want to put a hopper down there to collect those items. But yeah, now on to building it. So this one starts off very similar. One notable difference here, this block right here has to be a slab. So we come in here with this, set this repeater to four ticks, right turn torch like that, and turn off the clock. Bring this exactly the same as before, redstone torch right there. However, set this to one tick and leave that like that. This time, we are going to bring this the same, but for this one, we are going to bring this along the side right there and sticky piston facing downwards. Redstone along there, repeater on four ticks and complete this the same as before. Run redstone all the way up there, and that needs to be set on two ticks, I believe. Yes, two ticks. Then come in here, sticky piston facing downwards, piston shovel, hopper, and dispenser. Now, this is the part that actually does the sorting. You're going to make a, a block update detector right here. So place two blocks like that, place a redstone torch, blocks coming up along here, and redstone repeater on one tick, redstone like that. Now this is a block update detector. Then we want to Put blocks like that, torch there, torch there, redstone dust with a sticky piston and a block. Then we are just going to cap that off like that and put a hopper in. Oops, did not mean to break that. And there we go. That is now done. Which, uh, you notice something here? Uh, this can also be adapted to this design over here. You can basically remove this, place everything like here. If you use all the timings from this, but just get rid of all of this block update stuff, that just works as a normal packer that is slightly cheaper than that one. It's just not as fast. And on to the final design. 
So the final design here is it works exactly the same as this one does, but it uh, it's a bit more compact and uh, unfortunately it does require a soul forge tech, but it's a bit it's one nugget cheaper in terms of gold. It does require 12 lapis though. Um, but it's also a block smaller. So, on to building it. So this one starts off the same as the first design. And this one, that needs to be a full block. Set that to four ticks. Bring redstone there, there, there. And bring this down just the same as before. Set that to one tick. Sticky piston. And bring this out. This one out as well. Redstone dust. With sticky piston. Repeater on four ticks. Blocks and slabs like that again. And redstone up like that with that on two ticks. Then we come with that. Piston shovel, hopper, and dispenser facing downwards, just like before. Now with this one, you're going to place a buddy block with the output facing this direction. Then against that output, block there, block there, and block there. Redstone torch, two redstone dust like that, and a sticky piston right there. So, to fix that, just turn that on, and it'll fix it. So, the reason that that happens is uh, it gets into a cycle right there where it's just a long enough delay that it's able to uh, toggle the piston. But, because of this solid block right there, when this clock is going, that occasionally powers the piston, which throws off this looping clock and fixes that. So, then we just come in here with our glass again. Hoppers, and I forgot to mention this in the actual tutorial. Oh, sorry. Uh, there we go. Ah, did it again. Alright, sometimes it's a little bit finicky. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I forgot to mention in the last tutorial that we need a hopper right there. Now, these hoppers can be moved around. Those are just the actual, like, in terms of the up and down height. Those are just the positions that items will be falling. But, yeah, that is all of the piston packer designs that I have. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later.